This is Nancy from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. And this here is a rose that I made with uh, Sorcery Soap's uh, recipe of um, soap dough. Made it yesterday and it firmed up really quickly. I chopped off or cut off the bottom so it would lay flat. And now I would like to see if it's possible to paint it using um, some mica. So I'm going to use mica and rubbing alcohol, 90%. Um, 91% I think. These are little caps that I have so I'm going to squirt some alcohol into that, um, into this one and into this one and attempt to color this using mica in alcohol. So I'm just going to take the end of a plastic spoon right here and take a little bit and stick it in. See if I can make a little bit of a paint with it. Looks a little bit thin to me, but I'm going to go with it. In this other little container, I want to put um, some white mica. This is uh, the ingredients in this are mica and titanium dioxide, and uh, I'm going to use it just in case I need a different color white or a little bit of white to add to it. So here I'm adding a little bit more generous portion, like that, into here, and hope it dissolves. I don't know if I actually need that, but I could mix my pink into it. That looks really nice, that consistency. I've got a towel that I'm wiping my, my uh, spoon off on. I think I'm going to add a little bit of the pink this to here and see if I can work with this one for my paint, my primary paint color. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And here's a paintbrush. Let's see how this works. Well, that's kind of simple. Just go ahead and dab it on. Wow. Now, I think if you were doing this for real, um, you know, if you're trying to make it look really cool, you would probably do variations of color, not just all pink. But talk about an easy way to adjust your, you know, make up the, the flowers and then uh, if you, the roses, and then when you need one that's purple, you could just paint it purple. If you need to want a different color, mix up that color. Well, that's pretty simple. Let's see the underside. I don't even have to have skill for this. Goodness. It might be a little bit too much mica per alcohol. It looks a little bit thick to me. But um, I'm okay with that. All right. Now, that's what we have. That turned out nice and shiny and bright. Now let's say I wanted to add some highlights, um, some accent to it. I'm going to add, mix this in here and see if I can do a little bit of highlights on it. Sorry. It seems like the titanium dioxide one gets thick, makes the the paint stuff thicken a wee bit. I'm going to add this into here. All right. I'm thinking that the highlight should be um, the tips of these.
All right, I think I want to try. That one's okay. That's okay. Okay technique. Um, I think what I'd like to do is dip this in here. And maybe grab a little bit of this right in here. And make them a little bit more pronounced. Edges. Again, that first coat really went on quite easily. I'm kind of surprised. I like the sheen, it's really shiny. Dip in here. I don't know. What do you think? Not bad? I think that holding it is making some of this color off the bottom on the bottom come off. So let me dry this off a little bit. Of course that's going to go into the soap. I think it looks pretty good. It's a little bit less um, smooth. Let's see what happens if I spray it with a little bit of my rubbing alcohol. Might give it a little bit of a marbled effect. All right, there it is. What do you think? I need to recoat the bottom, but um, overall, it's not a bad thing to have to do. I think it behaves pretty well, and I'm not sure it's worth doing that outline thing, the putting more color on the tips or not. I don't really see any benefit to that, unless maybe you have a really strong contrast between the first color and the second color but I might try that again all right that's it for now thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video